and they're off for the ROR. Horses for courses, British EBF Novice Stakes is £30,000 class two over the seven furlongs and Ghost Rider is well away. Ghost Rider in the purple and light blue silks would tow the field along early on. From Dark Tornado towards the inside in purple and pink, American Bay not far behind there, those purple and yellow diamonds, followed by the blue and yellow of Spun to Gold. There's a leading quartet then from Von Baer, the black and grey hoops. He's got game, is quite keen just in behind the tempo, the black and white, the white and green of a Ram Ram. Further ward the left-hand side then, the white sleeves and cap of C, the thunder, and deeper out is military artist in those red and white colours. They're about to go through halfway then, Ghost Rider continues to lead under William Buick, shows by a half a length only to spun to gold. More towards the inside is Dark Tornado. American Bay is poised just in behind them, then see the the Thunder. Behind Sea the Thunder is a Ram Ram. Military Artist continues out wide on the course as they head down towards the final quarter of a mile. Ghost Rider with that small lead. American Bay now begins to make the challenge towards the inside. Dark Tornado runs a big one. As they head now towards the final furlong, it's Ghost Rider and Dark Tornado who begin to pull away from American Bay back in third. Then Military Artist and it's Ghost Rider racing more towards the centre of the track late on who is enough in hand to make it two out of two in the career. It is Ghost Rider to beat Dark Tornado, American Bay third, then Military Artist and Von Baer just in front of He's Got Game. And they're off, racing seven furlongs in the £80,000 Class 2, Bet 365, handicap stakes, top secret was well away. More towards the middle of the track, the winner from two years ago, a group of four horses more towards the centre early on, top secret Havana Blue. Together there with Ropey Guest and Escobar, the majority more towards the near side, being led by Quinault from Popmaster and Love de Vega. Then Hickory, Spangled Mac and Star of Orion in front of Orban and Mabasha. More towards the inside, then abduction and bless him just at the back of the field as they continue their journey up the home straight. They'll soon be at halfway. Quinault under Luke Catton shows in in front here by probably about a length or so now to Popmaster Top Secret. Ropey Guest and then Havana Blue. Behind those Spangled Mac and then Orban. Escobar still more toward the centre of the track. Star of Orion pushed along for more so to Love de Vega. They're racing down towards the final quarter mile. It's Quinault from Popmaster. Then Hickory, Havana Blue and top secret ahead of Ropey Guess more in the centre of the race course. They're racing their way towards the final furlong and a half and it's Quinault. Quinault's out in front by a couple of lengths now to Popmaster. Then Hickory and Star of Orion. Mabasha's running a well towards the stand side but it's Quinault who will lead them inside the final hundred yards. Popmaster is pressing hard as the line looms. It's Quinault from Popmaster. They get to the finish. Quinault's won for a seventh time this year. Has beaten Popmaster and NK Hickory. Followed them by Star of Orion and Blessing and abduction then love to Vega and Mabasha top secret and Orban and they're off the £100,000 Lavazza handicap stakes is heritage handicap over the mile and a half and it's Ben Aker in those black and white silks that leads early on in the hands of Danny Musket from dancing in Paris close up behind the yellow with the noseband. Yellow and black silks in that hurdy third position is perfect play under Hayley Turner. A little bit deeper out is Victory Dance in the Royal Blue. Wider still there, True Legend, who's trying to get in behind horses. Then in the white jacket, Al Sakib, followed then two lengths away by Gallant Lion in white and green. Overactive in black and beige stripes is second to last, and the back marker in blue and yellow is Struth under Ollie Stammers. They continue over on the back straight. They'll soon be at the corner over the far side there with Ben Aker going to lead them in towards Swindley Bottom by a length and a half. Two in second, true legend. We're dancing in Paris and perfect play the next two. Victory Dance is in fifth place. Al Sakib is next. Then Gallant Line from Overactive and Struth remains at the rear of the field. Now on the side of the course then. They're on the way towards the final three parts of a mile. And it's Ben Aker who still goes along out in front. Ben Aker shows the way. From True Legend, they're about three lengths in advance then of the others. Victory Dance moving up towards the outside of perfect play at this point, then dancing in Paris more towards the inside of that pairing. Al Sakib continues to track them through, then Gallant Line, who's still being weighted with, back through them to Overactive, and Struth is still last of all. They're closing in on the final half a mile now, and it's True Legend who's now strode to the front. He's picked it up under Thor Hammerhands, and they're now pushed along Ben Aker. Victory Dance is encouraged 
Norwich De Long there just about in second place now from perfect play. Gallant line travels well on the bend towards home. He's in fourth place at this point. Then Al Sakib dancing in Paris is losing ground. Struth is now looking to stay on. Overact is second to last and Ben Akers dropped out to be a tailed off back marker now. Heading in towards the final quarter, Marlon True Legend has been kicked for home and has got a three length break on them. Perfect play. Al Sakib second and third. Then Gallant line is now under pressure. Struth is now all out challenging there for fourth as they make their way to the final furlong. True Legend is out in front but here comes Al Sakib with a very big looking chance on the outside now. Al Sakib has mastered True Legend and on the run towards the line under David Probert it's Al Sakib who goes on to win the Levatsa handicap stakes beating True Legend and perfect play. Then came Struth and Gallant line clear from dancing in Paris over active victory dance and Ben Aker still coming. And they're off for the Victoria Racing Club, confined at handicap over the mile and a quarter. And it's Mantoug in the blue and white, the first one to stride on under William Buick. Lighter blue, a bit wider, is blue flag flying high. And Freddie Larson, a little bit keen behind Jeff Coons, the two shades of green there for Rab Havlin. Red and yellow silks, New Day Roll goes along down to share for that third place. Two lengths away to Elegancia, the bronze colours for David Probert. And against the running row, botanical in yellow with black spots there for Cameron Noble. The race towards Swindley Bottom then, being led by Mantug, the recent Salisbury winner. Shows in front by the best part of a length. So racing in second, blue flag flying high to the outside of New Day Roll. And then Jeff Coons, who goes along in fourth place. Botanical and Elegancia are the back two. They've got three parts of a mile left to run in this Victoria Racing Club confined handicap, being led by Mantug. Mantug is still out in front from blue flag flying high who's running along in second. New Day rolls back in third and Lewis Edmonds, and then Jeff Coons and Rab Havlin in fourth place, followed then by Botanical and Elegancia, and running in towards the final half a mile shortly. But it's still Mantug there out in front from blue flag flying high. New Day roll third just before the bend, and then Jeff Coons in front of Botanical and Elegancia, as the field cluster up and they're about to race back towards home with just over three furlongs to go. The gallop increasing now it would appear Mantug by just less than the length of the pushed along blue flag flying high in second. Jeff Coons in the green is in third and then New Day will in fourth. Elegancia trying to move up into it now in the bronze jacket. Then came Botanical. They're on the way inside the final quarter mile. Mantug now joined to the outside by Jeff Coons between horses by blue flag flying high. Elegancia finding stride in the bronze silk set to the outer. They're racing toward the final furlong. It's Jeff Coons with now Elegancia to the outside, looking a big threat. Elegancia on turns with Jeff Coons inside the final 100 yards. Elegancia and Jeff Coons little in it on the run for the line. It's Elegancia and Jeff Coons. Elegancia from Jeff Coons and Botanical third. Mantuk back in fourth and then blue flag flying high and new day rail. And they're off. Very slow to find stride there, high spirited from stall number three, has come out some way behind the others, one mile on the straight course for the Royal Ascot Racing Club, 25th anniversary, British EBF Premier Phillies handicap. And so race three, the opening furlong, it's Lady Lara is the first one to begin. And races on by a length and a half or so to the Royal Blue of Brightstones in second position. In third, then it's far too shy in the blue and yellow, followed by red, white and blue, a car Savina. And the dark blue, the pink stars of Don't Tell Claire to the right-hand side as we look down the track. The turquoise next. Racing in behind runners is Maggie's Way, then Amon Zoe. Further behind to Tarab. Moreover, toward the left-hand side is Spirit of the Bay with Prepense for company and High Spirited has made out some ground that she lost at the start. Meanwhile, it is Lady Alara who continues to dictate as they went through halfway. Lady Alara and Jason Watson, a length and a half, two Brightstones and far too shy. Then Maggie's way and don't tell Claire towards his right-hand side. Down the centre of the race course is Carsavina just in behind the tempo. Spirit of the Bay ridden for more. Prepense is now trying to pick up their two from the left and they're racing down towards the final quarter mile. Maggie's way now joins issue with Lady Alara. Far too shy has gone well to this point then don't tell Claire followed next by Carl Savina Prepense and High Spirited trying to come into it over on the far side far too shy still being held together now sent about a work Lady Lara sticking on bravely though Maggie's way behind those with High Spirited Tarab running on when it's all over Lady Alara just kept on finding from the front here this is a real game effort Lady Alara Lady Alara's beaten Maggie's way into second far too shy and High Spirited across the track in behind and then came Carl Savina and Tarab
followed by Prepence. And they're off. Six furlongs in front of them for the Fever Tree Handicap Stakes. Wellington's Tribe was blind beggar. The blue and yellow, though, are the noseband. Redemption time is quite lit up early on, chasing three in second. Then another investment in the pink, together with Bresson and Reminder. Then Bacento, the dark blue sleeves and cap. Track three by Willem Twee in the orange and white. Capote's Dream is back through them, along with Russick Gold in the blue and white diamonds. Then Kuwait City and Dark Trooper, as blind beggar's gone storming off here, is clear by about four to five lengths at the moment from redemption time, and they're about to head towards halfway. Bresson in third, then Reminder with the noseband on just in behind the tempo, followed by Bicento, another investment, and Kuwait City, then came Russick Gold and Will and Tweed, Dark Trooper and Capote's Dream, they're racing inside the final quarter mile, and it's still Blind Beggar at the moment, Red, White and Blue challenging Redemption Time, then another investment, Reminder's trying to get going Bicento coming into it, and so too Dark Trooper towards the stand side they're inside the final furlong, Redemption Time, Bicento, another investment and Dark Trooper inside the final Final half, it's redemption time from Dark Trooper and Bicento. It's Dark Trooper getting up near side. Dark Trooper! Dark Trooper got there to beat redemption time Bicento. Then another investment followed by Reminder, Russick Gold and Blind Beggar. And they're off. Five furlongs for the National Racehorse Week. Handicap stakes and Mountain Peak was well away in purple and pink to lead the way from Swayze Novello and toward the inside Haymaker. More down the centre is Wallhampton together with dynamic force in the checks of White and Maroon. They then followed through by Bedford Flyer. Then the cheap piece Fernando Ra Spring Bloom wider out from Atlam Express. Behind those Call Me Ginger further behind with Existent and above is the bat marker. They're already through halfway. Dynamic force now with a small lead from Mountain Mountain Peak, riding behind him, Bedford Flyer, together then with Wolhampton, in the long for Morris Swayze and Novello, Bedford Flyer, Spring Bloom over on the far side, Mountain Peak, Wolhampton down the centre, more coming towards the near side, Haymaker beginning to pick up well, Call Me Ginger's also bursting through, they're inside the final furlong, Call Me Ginger has hit the front now from Mountain Peak and then came Swayze and Haymaker, it's Call Me Ginger pressed by Mountain Peak late on, it's Call Me Ginger to win from Mountain Peak and Wolhampton, then Swayze in existence, followed by Haymaker.